I'm Abby Schaefer and this video is going to be about tips on selecting wigs. The first tip I'm going to give you is to always stick with monofilament wig caps. Machine tied caps rarely look realistic and with monofilament caps you can do a lot more with them. You can part them, you can style them. They are slightly more expensive but that expense you're going to pay for the difference if you can afford it is really worth it. This video is primarily going to be about synthetic wigs because I don't purchase human hair wigs. If you're going to get a good quality human hair wig, you're going to be spending in the thousands. They do last longer and you can style them, but for me that's definitely not in my budget. Synthetic wigs you can get for really great quality, they look like human hair, in around the 200 to 300 range, and that may sound like a lot, but it's really worth it. If you're going to be wearing this wig every single day, it, this looks better if you spend in that range. And if you spend any cheaper than that, they're just going to be really shiny and unmanageable, so I would avoid anything below even $40. Now synthetic wigs in my experience I have to replace about uh, four to six weeks depending on how humid it is or how messed up they get in other ways. Shorter styles definitely tend to last longer in my experience. Whenever I have a long wig like this one I just wear it a couple times and it already starts to frizz. I would also stick with straighter styles because I used to buy curly wigs just because they look so pretty and I quickly learned that if you wear it for about a week it starts to fray. It just never looks the same as when it was new no matter what you do. You could try putting curlers in it it just doesn't really ever go back to the way it was in the beginning. If you're going to wear it every single day, especially in the summer, it's not going to work very well. Another way to make this time last longer is to trim them at the end of their lifespan. If you wear wigs, you know what I mean. When the ends get frayed and it just looks really messed up, you just don't want to wear it anymore. And what I do is just trim off those ends. I do it myself, it's pretty easy. Or you can even go to a hair salon. If you cut off those frayed ends, it instantly looks like a brand new wig. What I usually do personally with my own wigs that I style, I just cut some layers in, cut it shorter, and I usually cut bangs just because they're cute. From around the time I was maybe 13 or 14 until I graduated high school when I was 18, I always purchased Cody by Rene of Paris' Amore line, and I would always get it in various blonde colors. If you want to message me below and ask me about a specific color, I'll probably have tried it. Now that one I really liked, but a couple things about it. When you first get it in the mail, it's really poofy. It just looks crazy. I mean, it looks super glamorous, but for a high schooler, it, it just looked like I had gotten my hair styled every morning and it definitely didn't look so realistic. I could usually fix that problem by sticking a bobby pin in it or tying it back, something just to kind of tone down the poofiness, but usually that went away within a week of wearing it straight. That style in particular I love to cut bangs into just because the bangs that it comes with are very long and they get in your face a lot. So if you don't pin them back or cut them, it could be a little bit of a hassle, but it still is a beautiful style. The only reason I changed when I went to college is just to, just for a change. I was so sick of wearing the same style, I just wanted something new. For one thing, I started wearing brunette colors like dark chocolate, cappuccino, and espresso. They're all pretty much interchangeable, honestly. And I started buying the Tatum wig by Renee of Paris' Amore line again, and it's beautiful. I wear that pretty much every day, except for recently I've been wearing this wig just because it's fun and pretty, but generally I wear that one. It's super manageable, I just throw it on, I barely have to look in a mirror and it's perfectly styled. And that one is slightly longer than the Cody, so you can probably do more with it than the Cody, but since it is longer it will get frayed more easily. But also because it's longer you have more flexibility with trimming it, whereas with the Cody you can't really cut it that much before your hair is really short. Usually at the end of the Tatum wig's lifespan I would cut layers into it and cut bangs across and that was always a super cute style. This wig that I'm wearing now is again by my favorite brand, Renee of Paris' Amore line. This one is called Stevie and all three of those that I listed are monofilament. And if you have any questions about what colors they are, I think I mentioned them but if I didn't, this one is coffee latte. I actually didn't want to buy this color but it was on sale which is why I bought it and they didn't have many colors left. It's still beautiful but I just don't like streaks that much in my own wigs. But I would probably have preferred to get this in dark chocolate. Now if you want to check out a wig brand that I like that's a lot cheaper, if you just want to buy like a wig that you can wear a couple times just for fun, check out a brand called Forever Young. They range probably from $30 to no more than $70 and that would be, that's rare for that company, for a wig to cost over $70. Sometimes if I want to try a longer style I go for one of the Forever Young brands just to have long hair for a day or two and then switch back to what I'm used to. Now I hope I remember to cover everything, but if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments below. I'm planning on making a bunch more videos involving wigs and dealing with alopecia, which I have. Um, so subscribe if you're interested because there will be more to come soon. And thank you for watching.